Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just uh, giving you an update video um, on the custom sump and refugium build, and it is finally done, guys. Um, been working on this thing all over the last couple of months. You know, working a little bit here and there. It did take a little bit longer than I thought, but anyway, it's finally done, and I'm really happy with the results. Um, this is the reason why I wanted to go custom because it, it came out exactly how I envis envisioned it in my mind. Everything is working perfectly. So I just wanted to kind of go over really quickly um, the entire setup. Um, you know, from the plumbing to why I decided to do the way things I did. Um, so I'm, I'll be pausing the video here and there so I can, you know, take different angles of, of stuff. So. Um, here we go. Alright guys, so um, I took the lid off just so I can show you really quickly um, how my thing is set up. Um, so I got the PVC pipe. This main PVC pipe is coming from my overflow box. Um, rather than having the water go straight down into the water like most people are going into a filter sock, I've, I kind of built an elbow. Um, so it comes down it goes there and on this side it comes around this side of the tank and basically this that pipe is sitting just on top of the water line and on the bottom of the pipe all along this side and all along the side coming down here I have uh, holes that I basically drilled up into the pipe like that all around so the water is actually coming down through these holes the pipe and then it comes all the way around and on this end I have uh, a piece of sponge you know around the uh, closing to help baffle any kind of sound or the splashing sound so it's pretty quiet um, the skimmer is going pretty good I basically built um, a little stand on a PVC pipe um, I had a you know those uh, CD or, or DVD plastic spindle cases I basically just flipped the spindle upside down and PVC some PVC um, and glued some PVC pipe to it um, so just make a little stand or a little table to the right height which my skimmer sits on top of in the bottom of that skimmer chamber um, I have a Coralia Nano I don't know if you can see it but it's over here you can kind of see that part of the red that's a Coralia uh, Nano Power Head uh, which kind of just keeps the water moving along the bottom of the glass and I have my bags of Chemipure in that section the pump is actually like facing right in front of the Chemipure so it's just blasting it with water so that's a very high flow um, section of the, of the system uh, coming up you know goes into the refugium section and here I'm using Calerpa. I actually wanted to get uh, Ketomorpha, but for some reason I'm having trouble finding it in my local fish store. Um, so I've, I'm going with Calerpa for now. I have grown both in the past. And actually in my, in my experience, I had better success growing Calerpa than Ketomorpha. I don't know why, maybe it was just not enough flow at the time, but my Calerpa, when I had it in the back of the, in the, back of the chamber, in the main biocube tank, uh, it started to basically die off. It got this black slime and then it just started to die off. Calerpa never had that problem and it actually, Calerpa actually grew faster um, in my system. I don't know if that's a true statement for everyone, but in my system, Calerpa grew a lot faster than Ketomorpha did. I know a lot of people don't like uh, Calerpa because uh, it, it, there is a potential to release um, you know nitrates and phosphates back into your water but I think it has something to do with your lighting schedule um, I do plan on lighting this 24 7 so that should eliminate that should hopefully we'll watch and see um, the LED light I'm using is um, by a company called Innovative Marine it's a skylight it's a six LED um, system each each light each LED is one watt and um, so it's a total of six watts and I was actually planning to get another one I was planning to get the JBJ Nano Glow um, but I wasn't having trouble finding it locally 
<clears throat> and my fish store had this one in, in stock. I actually came home and I said I was going to go online and buy the JBJ, but started looking into this one and comparing it, the amount of light that you get um, per watt. Um, I think this might actually be a little bit better um, bargain as far as you know what your results are getting for light uh, compared to the JBJ. I don't know, but I'm going to give this a uh, couple of weeks and give it a good review in a while. Um, I still have my live rock in the in the refugium section. I will be taking them out pretty soon, or most of it. Maybe I'll just leave one. I, you know, just put those in there to kind of see the the refugium. So I might be taking some of that out. I uh, still got my deep sand bed going there. Um, my return pump. I went overboard on the pump because um, I actually the pump is actually all the way closed as far as the vents are concerned so it's sucking in the, base, the the minimum amount of water that it can which is actually perfect for my system so I mean if I open up the vents maybe just like one more notch there's gonna be too much water coming down the, the overflow is just gonna start going crazy with the gurgling sound so that's why you know uh, I guess no harm done in having a more powerful pump that you need here so um, got my ball valve there which is wide open at the moment and um, that's pretty much um, you know the basics of things um, if anyone has any questions um, you know, go ahead and comment and I'll be sure to respond to you oh one one last thing just to go over the lid that I built as well shows really quickly um, this is made out of polycarbonate which is something like a uh, acrylic but I guess it's harder I got my Dremel this is the hole for the skimmer the hole for the um, whatever you call that this pipe on the skimmer to adjust it um, I made a, like a little spill guard all around the edge here out of PVC molding or vinyl molding waterproof so if something happens in the event that you know the skimmer does overflow here hopefully it will be collected in this area drained back in through these holes and goes back into the uh, refugium so just a precautionary measure I took you know rather be safe than sorry down the road.